Hi, Clay from Bubbles Backyard Farm. We're doing chores. Got a little bugger here that's looking to be fed and watered. And you need some food too, but then you want to tap off, tap off your water. You're getting old. You can see it in your eyes, mister. I'll get you. Hang on. You guys got to have some fresh water. The quails are doing good. We unlock them so they... Just don't open the door on this because they're awful flighty. And that little one little, little white one likes to fly. I don't know what's going on with her. She freaks out too easily. When they come back with his dog food, then I'll take the camera in here. Oh, Can you hold the egg basket for a second? Just I have set something it down in, in my eye. Set it down in that bucket right there. Food. All right, Storm. Hang on. He's telling us it's dinner time. Breakfast. <laughs> I have to unlock everything before I can get in there. And you see our no trespassing sign. Tell him what happened to us yesterday with the no trespassing. Nothing. With the people that came to the house? That was no soliciting. Oh, no soliciting. I'm sorry. There's a difference. What's the difference? Trespassing is going on someone's property, soliciting and trying to sell them. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so either way, they were wrong. Well, <laughs> nobody likes a vacuum cleaner salesman. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened was the way they knocked on the door, like dun 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 dun, dun kind of thing. I looked out the door and I, I could see through the curtains that I thought it was uh, one of the kids. It looked like one of the girls because they saw a tall blonde girl knocking on the door. So I thought, huh, which was the girl? Which one of the girls was this? And then she said, here we're giving out free dish soap. I said, she goes, it doesn't cost anything. We get we get paid by the companies to give it out. I said, oh, okay, so I took it, you know, because I didn't know, and then she goes, well, we, we're college kids, and we just need to, a guy just has to give you a quick demonstration, so I said, all right, well, get down, get back, she get goes back. in, and the guy comes out, get back, and, uh, stormy, behave. Then he starts, I know you're hungry. I, he asked if he could come in my house. I said, oh no, my husband won't let me have anybody come in the house. Because what had just happened, Clay and I just got Chinese for supper. And I knew that, and Clay just got home from work, and I knew he wasn't going to want somebody to come in and give a demonstration while he was doing something. I don't do demonstrations. He doesn't do demonstrations. Unless I'm doing the demonstration. <laughs> Unless he's doing the demonstration. <laughs> so anyway. How are you guys? You need some you need some quaily food. Little purple flower. So anyway, what happened was, the guy, I felt really uncomfortable with this because there were some problems with magazine people, I think years ago, knocking on people's doors and kill them, killing them and things. Anyway, the guy uh, was just about begging to come in my house and he goes, well, what about coming back later? I'm thinking, no. And uh, then uh, he left. He kind of looked out of my hand like, I wish you would give me the dish soap back. And I didn't really even think that fast. And he left. <laughs> and I went in the house with the dish soap. But the thing is, is um, what was weird is we had the no trespassing sign, no soliciting. And it's because where we live, tons of people will stop by. They ask for directions. They ask for things. And you just have to be safe. I mean, even up, up here in rural America, it's rural, but it's not because we're off a main highway. So everyone has to be super, super safe. And uh, there were some robberies at the restaurant around here and stuff. So we just like to be safe. So anyway, that made me a little bit uncomfortable. But as it boils down, he really was the curvy. They were the curvy salespeople. It sounded like they were trying to trick us or something, saying they were college kids doing it no, for an assignment. They told me that. They usually have college kids selling it. No, no, but he said he was like a college kid, and the way he said it, I, he acted like they were doing it for, he said he's, I go, well, what are you going to college for? He said, like, business. Sounded like he was doing it for school, but then I kind of figured out he was doing it to, to, for a job, and <laughs> figured, well, get discouraged soon, because this day and age, people don't like you coming in their houses.
How are you guys doing? Huh? Doing good? Alright, let me give you some fresh water. Oh, there's another quail egg. I used to wonder why the people out in the country would act like that, have all these no trespassing signs and and things like that, because I was so... Well, now I understand that they're invite, living out here. You don't invite people onto your property unless you want them to pop in in the middle of the night or when you're not home. Right, well... That's but, usually what happens out here in the country. Yeah, it... it the places out. I used to think... It's a little different because you got too many neighbors to see what's going on. And honestly, in the country, you don't always have close neighbors that watch what's going on. That is true, and and that is, I mean, just I'm just saying from my well, perspective. They're probably facing away from me, and I, they probably didn't hear a thing I said. No, oh, I'm sorry. Say it again. I said, in the city, you've got a lot of close neighbors and people watching what everybody else is doing. In the country, there's not many houses around, so it's a lot easier for people to scope out a place to, to rob so that that is true and what was funny about that is i just always think that ooh, they have seemed kind of yucky and and oh. dumb to have no trespassing signs and no soliciting i think i'd never do that and this is i'm just saying how we used to feel and and, and i think it's because of what clay said i lived in developments and if yeah, too many people close by can see what's going on. Right, and, and but out here, even though we do live in an area where my like my neighbors will tell me if they saw something, I tell my neighbors. Yeah, but they might wait until after you're already done robbing you. Well, but it's a dis it's a different kind of a climate because people just I don't know how to explain it, but everybody out here has no trespassing, no soliciting, and all that, and I think it's because people just come out and it's just the way that they act and the it's maybe the people that come and solicit is part of the issue too. You know what I mean? It's not like a group group of Boy Scouts collecting cans. Did you it's, even get a picture of these guys? I wanted to. Well, anyway, it's not like a group of guys coming out collecting cans. How is everybody doing strange out here? people sometimes. Don't you think so, honey? Yeah, you got it. They look good, huh? Yeah, they're looking a lot better. Warmer weather coming. You guys are going to your summer home in about a week or so. Then you'll tame right down. Nice male right there. And a little white male back there. Look the at eggs we got in the... She's all puffed up. Yeah. He looks like she's mad. The white no, one. They're, they're not bad, dear. Well, not, no, you know what I mean, like, oh. She may no. just caught a chill, but she's I thought fine. maybe she was like a broody chicken. No, like she's not broody. They aren't, they don't get that way. Quail aren't really a broody bird. Yeah, somebody asked that. Oh, there That right. was a male. That was that male in the corner. The eggs we got in the incubator, I can't tell if we're going to give them fertile or not, because it's early in the spring, and... <clears throat> now that the male is calling, it's going to put the hens in laying condition. And uh, so the ones in the, the house, if they don't hatch, will start a new set. <coughs> All right, what are you guys doing? You guys need some fresh water and a little bit of ice on them, too, today, because it's only 30 degrees. This one, the new bees. Yeah, that's going to go on the barn. My hands are actually starting to get cold now. Yeah, mine are too, but I had water on them too. Oh, did they? Okay. But well, still got to do chores. Yeah. Whoa, that's you all right, honey? muddy. to mention this it's trump is in new york right now that's a good thing they leave on you know for to look back so people are talking oh, they're all in new york right now hillary, yeah all hillary bernie bernie sanders and john Kasich are all ted cruz in, new york in the next two weeks they're so all, what they're doing is drumming up votes for their uh for their party we had somebody, what were they running for that came to, and they stopped and we let, we interviewed them one time for YouTube. 
was a judge. It was a judge, okay. That uh, came to the front of the house one time. So. That was a while back. But. Uh, Summer or so ago. I guess. But it's going to be crazy. I guess they. That. Um, she was running it. She was a judge already, but she was running again. She's running to do it again, yeah. And she wanted to know if she could put one of her posters in her yard. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. Oh, there ain't too late at. Nice enough to ask. And put it, I've had people who just get out of their cars or pounding stuff into your lawn. Yeah. Well, because we live on, on a busy road, but there's a lot of security. You know, we're talking about the, everybody around here has cameras. It's just the way it is here.